Okay, so good evening. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up in an autoresponder on WhatsApp. So the first thing you need to do is that you want to download this app known as autoresponder for WhatsApp. Autoresponder for WhatsApp. So you just go to your Google Play Store and search for autoresponder for WhatsApp. So this is the app here. You want to download it. You can see it's already installed on my phone. So once you've downloaded it, um, you have to create an account. So you just create an account um, here and go forward from there. Now, once you're done, this is how to create uh, your this is how to create your autoresponder message. So I'm going to copy a message I used. Um, you select similarity match. First, you come here, click this plus sign, select similarity match. Then you have your reply, which once somebody has clicked that your link and come there. So I'm going to copy the one I sent. Um, I just sent this. Let me see. Okay, so let me pick this out. Okay, so I'm going to set this as the message. Once my autoresponder receives this message by, from somebody who has um, who has clicked the link, it will now and i selected similarity match not exact match because some people might type in a little bit different things all right so it has saved that message as it has saved them so i will now create a reply that will be sent so let me say um welcome oh, sorry welcome uh, welcome my name is sean kindly save my contact my save my contact and type done when you are true when you are true so i can send you the video okay so you now say okay kindly save my contact and type done now this done you want people you want to emphasize it right so that people can see it so put two stars so the way it will appear is like it will appear in bold right so now when somebody types done then another you can you will now click this click this button here on um, where is it so sub menu okay so you click this button here you want to create another rule so when you click plus okay we have to save this first now let's go back all right so when you click plus you create another rule now your message here will be done because when the person clicks done, when the person says done, right? When the person says done, it means he has saved your contact. So again, select similarity match, select, then you give a reply. Okay, great. Here is the video. Oh, this one's still recording. Okay, I want to be sure. Here is the video I promised. And then you say something like, here's the link. Let me see. Double, 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 double. Blah blah blah. Just whatever it is, put the link. Then you say something like, "Kindly get back to me when you are done watching this video." All right. So this will enable you to follow them up. Blah blah blah. So we've set up a rule right now right so this is how our rule looks like now when somebody comes first he sends this message hello sheriff i would like to get access to the free video on earning in us dollars my name is dash then automatically you send them a reply your autoresponder will do this for you automatically welcome my name is sean kindly save my contact and type done when you're true so i can send you the video all right so now you can put delay you want if this this is this, this is fine if you want to put delay you can put a delay okay how many seconds should it take minimum number of seconds should it take before um, your reply so normally i like to put like three seconds the reason for this is that i want you to feel like a human you are reacting to a human being okay so that immediately, immediately as the person is sending the message it's not the same moment the person is getting a reply so roughly maybe between you know three to eight seconds should be the maximum time you will get a delay all right same thing you do with your sub menu you go to the sub menu and you can also add delay okay how many seconds let's say five seconds and maximum should be eight seconds and stuff like that so and you are basically done you've written your autoresponder so this is what you're going to do you just save and you're good now if you want anything you can turn off your autoresponder by just tapping on the green button 
can see it so that's basically that on setting up your whatsapp autoresponder so be, sorry before we we are out before going out now you will have to set it up on your device so this is where you come to you come here you come to settings choose my whatsapp version so you select do you have whatsapp business but the best thing is just select any to automatically find the whatsapp on your phone and get done with it then it will also ask you for permissions this is very important i forgot to mention this so this button you see here it will ask you for permission right it asks you that enable uh, or notifications so just tap it on go to your settings and enable all the settings it requires you to enable and basically that is that i think that's all you need you don't need to touch any other thing it's good mine has been running for months so you don't have any other thing so one only note with this is that it will definitely affect your battery because you know it's continuously running so anytime you're not actually using it you can shut it down and that's basically all on creating your autoresponder with whatsapp